Hi, this is Christina here from Christina Articulates, and today I'm going to be reviewing Dexter Charming from Ever After High. Now, uh, just this weekend on Saturday, my husband and I went over to Buffalo, over across the border, um, to go to an art gallery, and of course while we were over there, I made the request that we maybe do a little bit of doll hunting. Uh, I had a list of things that I was hoping to find. Uh, not even that I was hoping to buy, just kind of that I was hoping to see in person. Stuff like the Freaky Fusion dolls, um, like Claw Venus and Laguna Fire and Cleo Lie, which I haven't, hadn't yet gotten to see in person, and you know, some other things. Um, and we went to Toys R Us, and we went to Target, and I pretty much struck out totally on finding any of those things. But uh, then we went into Justice, where we happened to find a full case. There were five Dexters on the shelf, so basically a full case of him. And he was on my list, so I was pretty excited to find him and to grab him. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to um, get into, um, we'll have a look at Dexter's box here. Um, so standard with Ever After High looks like a book. Um, it has all of the information about Dexter on the back. And again, because this is from the States and not from Canada, it has a lot more information, which is always kind of a fun thing to see. And uh, we can see, what I like is, the, I like that he's holding his glasses and that he's not actually wearing them. Because that means that um, not only can you see his face better to make sure that his, you know, his eyes are on straight, but also that there's no um, like dents in his nose or any marks on his face from the glasses, which can happen when they're packaged really tight with those like plastic braces that they used to like hold them on. Happens a lot with Gulia. Um, she often has little dents in her nose from her glasses. So uh, let's get Dexter out of his box. It should be pretty easy because Ever After High boxes are actually, they're even easier I think than Monster High. And Monster High boxes are already pretty easy to open. Uh, you just have to get these plastic tabs out and the whole thing comes apart. I might not even need my scissors just yet. Um, and also actually at that Justice where I found Dexter, I did see um, Claw Venus and Dracubecca. So I got to see some of the Freaky Fusion dolls and I have to say I'm not a fan of Claw Venus uh, anyways. I think the colors are just kind of weird and I think that her skin color is not, I don't know. Um, but Dracubecca was really cute, and I think that she might, um, she might eventually come home with me maybe in a, if they go on sale or something like that, because I think they did a good job of combining them. Um, Cleo Lai is the one that I'm really thinking about, though. It's funny, because Cleo and Torlai are two of my least favorite characters, but put them together, and she's an Egyptian cat, and I feel like I kind of, kind of want that. But, anyways, moving back to Dexter. Um... Here he is, you can get kind of a better look at him without the glare from the box. And as always, they have the back of the, the background is sort of like um, printed with all sorts of, I mean, it's basically nonsense because it's all different languages and things like that. Uh, but still pretty cool. Okay. Elastic bands. Wow. There we go. Okay. They really don't want you to get his glasses off of his hand there. Okay. And lastly, get his head. Those little things in the head. Okay. Okay. So there is Dexter out of his box. And, um, we're going to do the same thing as usual. I'm going to flip the camera around and we will have a closer look. Oh, look, there's hair just falling off his head. <laughs> we'll flip the camera around and we'll have a closer look at him. Okay, so here is Dexter out of his box with his glasses on. And I have to say, I think he's pretty cool. And in addition to what you see here, he does come with um, a stand. His is gold. And then he comes with the standard uh, booklet. And I'll take some um, photos of this and 
you know, we can have a look at what it says over on my uh, blog coordinating blog post at christinaarticulates.blogspot.ca. And as always, the link to that will be down below in the description bar. Uh, but let's have a look at Dexter. Uh, I'm just going to take his bag off for now. We'll have a look at that separately. Okay, so, and let's take his glasses off too. We'll start at the top. Okay. Okay, so what we're looking at here with Dexter is he has um, a very handsome face. I think it's the same as Hunter's face, actually, um, but he looks nothing he looks really nothing like Hunter, thanks to, uh, you know, different hair and different painting and stuff like that. So his hair is kind of a nice, like, sandy, sandy brown color. It is rock hard <laughs> with gel um, all the way around. So I'm probably going to want to do a little bit of, I don't know, I mean, sometimes with hair this short, it's hard to get it to lay right. But I think he needs, I think he needs a wash because I just can't. I just can't, especially when you look at um, his art and he's got that kind of like sticky uppy, um, you know, cool hair. We got to get him a little bit of volume up here. Um, I know that there is another, uh, the variant of, De of Dexter that came out first had like a big, like kind of like there's something about Mary's style, like loop in the front of his hair, which was a little bit unruly. So I think this is kind of a an attempt to fix that, but I, maybe they swung too far in the opposite direction. I don't know. And then he has this nice gold crown on, which is attached um, to his head with those plastic ties, but it does go all the way around. So I think that even if you took it off, I think it would just slip. It would still stay on his head pretty well. And then he has uh, big, thick eyebrows, lovely blue eyes, and they don't have, um, the boys don't have eyelashes. And then his lips are painted a really nice, like natural pink color. It doesn't look like he's wearing lipstick or anything like that. And then moving down to his outfit, I think I'm going to have to take off some of these pieces because I want to get a good look at what's really going on here. But he has this fantastic blue jacket with the gold piping on the lapel. And it has like a tone-on-tone -tone sort of plaid print and these really long back. Not quite tails because it's one piece. I'm sure this has kind of coat has a name, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> and then on his... Uh, one lapel here. He has a little uh, pin that is like a winged, a winged sort of thing. So it's just a circle with wings and a star in the center. Um, and then he has this blue and white striped scarf, which is pinned to his shirt in numerous places. So I'm going to have to cut that off um, to get a better look at the shirt underneath, um, which we'll do in a second. And then he has on gray pants, like, you know, just gray jeans. Um, with this thing hanging off of his belt loop here, which has, uh, was presumably the Charming Family Crest, um, and some other things that I can't, like a clock, and it's a chain, and Hunter had something, uh, like this as well, so I wonder if this sort of, uh, detail is, like, to the boys what the rings are to the girls, they all get something like that, who knows, and then moving down to his shoes, they're very similar to the same kind of shoes that we often see on, like, Monster High dolls, like, um, Ghoul Spirit Slow Mo has shoes very similar in style to this, but these are a nice like navy blue color. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, um, with a very textured sort of leather pattern, and then the white soles and toes, and then on the bottom, they have the Ever After High logo. So let's get my scissors back, and we will get this. This is delicate work, people. Okay. So it was only actually attached in one place, so that's not too bad. So with that off, off, yes, okay. Uh, we can see uh, the pattern on the shirt a bit better. So it's overall, it's kind of like a mottled gray and black. And then it has these gold patterns um, all over. And I, I really can't tell what they are. They look kind of like laurel, like crowns of like laurel wreaths. Um, but I'm not sure. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice pattern. It's kind of like abstracty. Um, it reminds me a bit of the pattern on Hunter's shirt that is like abstract forest print. That's kind of uh, 
the same, it makes me think of the same sort of thing. Same kind of idea, an abstract version of something that um, calls back to the character. And then um, let me just take off his jacket really quick, which is always a little bit odd because it involves removing hands. Hello. Okay, and there Dexter is back with just with his jacket off. So the shirt is sleeveless, which these kind of things often are because sleeves, the sleeves of the jacket are pretty tight fitting. And I think that a t-shirt sleeve or long sleeve would get really kind of mixed up and bunched up underneath those sleeves. So there's no real need to do that. Um, I believe that Hunter's or Dexter's body is the same as Broad Hunter and muscular. So. And uh, that would mean that him and Hunter would be able to share clothes, but um, they can't really share clothes with a whole lot of other guys because they're, they're pretty big. And while we're doing this, let's have a look at Dexter's glasses. Um, the glasses themselves are really simple. Just plain black, no lenses, which is nice because sometimes the lenses can get a little cloudy. Sometimes they can have like glue residue on them and stuff like that. Um, and I wonder, these look a lot like the ones in Apple's, that come with Apple's fainting couch. So I wonder if those are, if they're actually the same. Not sure. And then with Hunt, with Dexter, <laughs> with Dexter wearing them, uh, they look, I think they, <laughs> I think they're, they're really cute actually. Um, another reason that I'm going to want to wash his hair is around here, they're having a hard time staying over his ears because the hair is so stiff that it's just pushing them right off. But um, that's a pretty easy fix with some, some warm water. Uh, you, don't, you don't necessarily want to wash out all the styling product because you want the hair to stay where, you, where it is, but it shouldn't make that much noise. <laughs> and while we've got the jacket off, I just want to um, have a look at it, show you guys. It is really, really nicely made. There's no like loose threads or fraying edges or anything like that. It's put together um, really, really well, and it feels really sturdy um, and like it'll hold up really well to a lot of play. So that's nice. And then the last thing that Dexter has is his bag, which is kind of like, it's a pretty huge duffel bag backpack kind of situation with lots of patches on it. Um, so we see there's like, um, there's some patches that just look like uh, wear and tear. And then there's um, this here, which is like a s crossed sword and ax. Uh, probably some kind of, you know, Ever After High version of Boy Scouts. Um, and then there's the Ever After High crest. Um, and there's a few other things that there's a crown and a rising sun. And this one has uh, the charming family crest on it again, I believe. And it's got lots of nice details, lots of pockets, buckles, things like that. And it's pretty, I'm a little bit surprised that it doesn't have like an opening anywhere because it's pretty hefty, but it also, it looks like it's supposed to sit, but it doesn't. No. Uh, it has a nice big strap in the back, so it, Dexter can wear it uh, really easily over his arm. And so that is that. And I'm going to get Dexter back in his jacket. And that will be it. So there is Ever After High's Dexter Charming back in his full outfit with his uh, lovely backpack on. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with him. I think he's really, really cool and really well designed. Um, I haven't yet been disappointed with a basic Ever After High doll or their signature versions. I think they really put a lot of details into them. Um, from head to toe and this includes the boy dolls which is really nice to see because uh, sometimes boy dolls can get a little bit forgotten and they get a little bit you know lazy with jeans and t-shirts and shorts and sneakers or sandals you know simple outfits but Dexter here he's got a lot of pieces um, I think that it would be really fun to mix and match with um, you know Hunter and we are probably going to get uh, Daring in the future maybe I'm personally hoping that we get Hopper Crokington, because I think his jacket is a really, really cool, and I think it'll be amazing in a doll. And so that is that for this video review. And if you'd like to see, uh, you know, more detailed photos of Dexter, please check out my blog post, which will be linked below um, at christinaarticulates.blogspot.ca. And as always, you can also find me on Tumblr and Facebook and 
Flickr, Christina Articulates Everywhere, and everything is linked below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye!